horses are on the track for the ninth race and elimination of the Illinois State Fair for two-year-old pacing fillies. No changes. Track is good. Win play show an exact a wagering. Five minutes to post. Interesting matchup here in the ninth race. A pair of unbeaten fillies and a filly who has dropped only one decision in her career. So anything possible in the ninth race will meet the starters next. And here are the starters. Number one is Perpetual Bliss, owned by the Orange Blossom Stable of Watsika, trained by Tony Alanya, the driver, Dean McGee. Coupled in the wagering is 1A, Lover's Melody, trained and driven by Tony Alanya for the partnership of Fox Valley Standard Breads and Jim Walker of Sherman. Number two is Fox Valley My Way, owned by the Steinbrenner Racing Stable of Tampa, Florida. Tom Harmer trains, Brent Holland drives. Number three, Lawless Society, owned by Linwood Stable and Hunt Harness Horses Incorporated, Mark Franzen, the trainer, and Dave McGee, the driver. Number four, Playa del Carmen, owned by Hatfield Stables of Columbus, Ohio, trained by Jim Ferguson, Fred Finn Jr. in the bike. Number five, Real Quiet, owned by Penske Stables of Plato, Minnesota, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Six is Bootsy, owned by Lloyd Arnold of Wyoming, Delaware, trained by Gary Skurlock. Tony Morgan is up. Number seven, Incredible Tilly, owned by Michael Ross of Mendota, trained by Irv Miller, the driver, Andy Miller. And number eight, Sporty Lucy, owned by Forrest Shoemaker and John Nessa of Aldemont, trained by John Nessa, the driver, Dale Heitman. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Incredible Tilly and Bootsy both go out for the lead. Playa del Carmen goes with them as they head off into the first turn. And then after that, as they head down into the turn, Lawless Society comes away racing in the fourth position. Playa del Carmen gives way to Bootsy, who gets the lead now with Incredible Tilly moving up right behind her into second. And there goes Incredible Tilly to challenge Bootsy for the lead. Playa del Carmen now racing in third. She's four lengths off the leader suddenly as they move by the quarter mile mark. The opening panel, 26 and 3 on the off track. Incredible Tilly, a blistering front panel, leading Bootsy by a length. Three more lengths to Playa del Carmen, third. Then a gap of two more to Lawless Society, who is fourth, followed by Perpetual Bliss in fifth. Sporty Lucy is sixth. She's eight lengths off the lead at this point. Then a gap of two more back to Fox Valley, My Way. Real quiet and Love Her's Melody to complete the field as they move by the half-mile mark. Problems for Fox Valley, My Way off stride. The half, 55-3. and three. Incredible Tilly. We'll see if she can handle the pressure after that very stout front half. She leads Bootsy by a length. Playa del Carmen is up close, two lengths off the lead in third. Here comes Sporty Lucy, the Roan filly, moving forward and forth, three lengths off the leaders. Then Lawless Society inside of Lover's Melody, and they're at the three-quarter, and they're all still chasing Incredible Tilly. Sporty Lucy second by a neck. She's one length off the lead. Bootsy locked in third toward the inside. Then Lover's Melody and Playa del Carmen. Three-quarters and a more sensible 127 and three. Incredible Tilly, an eighth of a mile from the finish, a two-length lead, and Bootsy is still second. Sporty Lucy struggling to keep up. What a performance by Incredible Tilly! She's got the lead by two. Bootsy has nothing for her today. It is Incredible Tilly winning it by a length and a half in 155. Bootsy was second. Sporty Lucy was third. Head of this filly. 155 flat, just a few fifths of a second off her lifetime best. Let's go downstairs and check in with Ed Teefee. Well, Kurt, all we can say is incredible. This race was one of the big matches that was touted tonight between Bootsy, who recently sold for $300,000, just had one defeat, and Irv Miller's undefeated incredible tiller. Now, Irv, parked to the quarter in 26 and 3. Bootsy right on her back, drew clear at the wire. You have to be awful impressed. I am. I'm very impressed. Quite that a, a that was a real big mile after getting parked the quarter that tough. Quite a story here, Irv uh, Miller. Of course, Irv trains this fine filly. She was bred by the late Norman Mandel. 
uh, who uh, had a lot of horses over the years, a lot of good ones, but uh, not one like Incredible Tilly. Tell us a little bit about the history on this filly. Yeah, Norm had bred Kelly Guru, and, and as everybody knows, he passed away a little while ago, and, and Jody just decided to sell her this spring due to some uh, having too many horses and this and that, so we bought a couple of them off of her, and she's just come around and made a heck of a nice filly. It's a, probably a regret to her to sell her, but it's a plus for us, and Mike Ross, the owner, he's great guy probably the best horse he's ever had ever will have and norm would be pleased that that's their home now irv miller one of the finest trainers in the midwest trains the undefeated incredible tilly congratulations irv